Hi everyone, my name is Danielle. Welcome to my YouTube channel and you're having a DJC moment. So today um, we'll be going through how to make some jellyfishes out of Chinese lanterns and of course crinkly paper. Um, so as you can tell, we are in the middle of Little Mermaid mode, party prep. It's in about one week and I've been prepping for about the last couple of months and going through some props um, and also vinyl work and also lots and lots of paints, spray paint. So I'll walk you through some of those things today. However, main thing, it's all about Chinese lanterns and how to make it really quick and easy. So there's about four different sizes that you can make um, from the small, medium, large, and extra large. Today, this is roughly about the, um, this is the small. Yeah, small takes about 14, 14 crinkly papers and I'll show you and walk you through how to do it. So step one, make sure that you have gutted out the center beams, right? With a Zacto knife, real simple, go through here, but leave the membrane so it can hold the lantern together, right? And of course the hook is on top because we'll be putting the light right in here to make it shine later. So right about this. So once you've done that, Take your crinkly paper, this. Oh, it's really simple. You just take it, finger width, twist, twist, twist. Oh, I like to use my little spit. <laughs> and it works. So twist, twist, twist. Make sure you really step it up. Oh, you, you'll see it's pretty easy. Um, once you get it to the desired length, you'll be able to go around and around and around. It's pretty sim simple, not much to do, but it is very time consuming. I would say to gut out this size, I, it took me about mm, 15 minutes and that's for the um, medium, right? So you have to think about 10 minutes or 12 minutes for the small and up to the extra large, that takes about 20 minutes. So roughly 12 to 20 minutes per um, jelly, jellyfish that you wanna do. Since this is a mermaid theme, we are going to go with some purples um, and blue hues. If you had gold, you could throw some gold in there. But um, I'm trying to keep it a little bit more traditional. I, well, I guess not so traditional. Well, this golden bling action I have going on here, right? So, as you can tell, I'm almost done. Since this is like a um, medium length, we think about it should be about, um, let's say three feet. 12 times three, 36. I thought about that for a second. But once you have that done, you'll never be exact unless you're measuring it from back to back. But what I do, I say, oh, eyeball it. This is a little bit too long. So we'll cut it here and then we'll adjust later. So now this is away for a little bit and then we'll use it as a skirt to cover the edges. So now with the glue gun, please be careful. The other day with this thousand watts glue gun that landed on my lap, it stripped my whole skin off, <laughs> seared it off. <laughs> Not a funny story, very painful story actually. So the trick is to go from here, make them as you glue it around, have them connecting to hide the rib cage underneath, right? So here it goes. <laughs> Try to do it really fast because as, as you put it through, it really dries fast. So I put enough to do like two, two at a time. Two at a time, right? So when you do two at a time with the glue, it won't dry as much. Really love these things. So a lot of my friends say, Tanya, why are you doing this? I mean, you could actually go and buy these props. I guess I could. But the joy of it all is saying, I did it all with my bare hands, right? 
and especially because I do a lot of this party stuff for friends and family. Um, it's the joy of it. You know, kids don't really get a lot of stuff to talk about. A lot of stuff to enjoy all year round. So sometimes you can even bring the kitties in. Obviously, I did these before, so I wouldn't waste your time. Not that I could ever waste your time, but whatever. But we want to make sure you're stretching it from ear to ear because this is how, as you do that, it hides. Oh, it goes a little glue gun activity all on my fingers. Okay. Um, I usually have a couple of sticks ready, but this should not take more than um, roughly about how many sticks? No more than two. If it does do something wrong and learn how to conserve paper. Okay. Oh, you have to press a little. My nails give me a little bit of protection here. Someone's jamming out there. There's a house across the street with lots of lights. And we call it the lighthouse because Throughout the year, he turns it on. I think he's very proud of it because every week he changes the color. Now, if there's a holiday, he changes it to those colors. So don't worry about not being super neat. Just make sure it's like along the line and the straight line at that. If not, that's what scissors are for. Now you have this raw edge going all the way around now, right? Well, do you clean this up? We create a little skirt, a little chiffon skirt to hide it. Right? Now, if you know how to sew, it's great. I'm not telling you to sew because guess what? The glue gun's gonna do all the magic for you. Um, and it's going to basically rouge it. All you have to do is use your fingers if you have nails, even better, because all you have to do is tack it with your nail. Tack, tack, tack. And you'll see, it comes down in a cute little skirt. Let's start here. You probably want to put it right over here. The longer you can go, the better. As you place it, I like to place it in first, and then start rooting. Ooh, gather, gather. Uh-huh, press, gather. The more messy, even better because you don't want it to be too perfect, right? Nothing in nature is perfect. That's what we all are. <laughs> all right, mm-hmm. We all perfect. We are all perfect. Ooh, so I add it, right? Lay it down and then start rouging with your finger because of this glue. It doesn't, it glues down really fast so you're able to like, Lay it, spray it. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Don't try this if you're not used to this, but, but um, if you're younger, please make sure you're, you have parent supervision because this is hot. Like I said, you can have the little tiny glue gun that's not as hot, even the ones that you can use on balloons. However, mine is about a thousand watts and I've already had access. So imagine if a big girl can, so can you, boo-boos, so can you. Okay. Uh-oh, I feel it. I feel it coming. Oh, look at that, rouging. I wish I could sew with glue. That's another story. I watch Project Runway, and they do that sometimes. But those never win. Those people never win. So, again, cheating doesn't really 
not while we're cheating. We will. Mm -hmm. See? And to close that gap, that little cinch right here, just glue it. And continue to do the rouging. We'll apply that pressure just a little bit. And then cut it close to the seam as possible. So again, we did all of our rouging right here. So now, how do we hang? Put, get invisible wire, fishing wire. I can't see it because it's invisible. I take a generous amount because I like them long because I double up and then triple up. Trick is, don't ever make all of them the same length. It's not worth it. You want the variation in height, especially when you hang them. Since this is going to be an outdoor party, we're going to be hanging them on trees. Now, when you hang them on trees, the wind comes, you have to make sure you secure it or else it'll be gone with the wind fabulous. Out the way and dare all your hard work. So. So, take that hook, circle, Loop it in. And remember, you're going to put the light in here for later. And here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Jelly, jelly, jelly. Jelly, jelly, jelly. Jelly, jelly, jelly. Jelly, jelly, jelly. Okay. All right. So. Thank you so much for joining me. That was roughly about 13 minutes. It took, well, maybe 12 minutes. It took to assemble, right? So thank you for joining me. Make sure that you put away everything very safely. I'm putting away everything just to make sure if you have kids around, especially with a gun, turn it off. Not safe enough, unplug it. So that took about roughly about 12 minutes to put together, right? But all the pre-work that I did, combining all the pre-work and all the twisting, that was another 20 minutes. So just keep in mind, it'll roughly take you about 33, 35 minutes to 45, 50 minutes per lanterns, if you're getting the big ones to the little ones. So take your time.